not sure what Marcel Jacobs is doing. Maybe he's just finding his favourite check. I hope he's not sending any WhatsApp messages. He needs to be fully focused on the job in hand. The Olympic champion is taking on the world champion over 60 metres. And he looked very, very impressive in the semi-finals. Right. One last time on Saturday night. It is showtime. It's the men's 60-metre final. back in 2016 came through the big test brilliantly here's the defending champion the world champion and the world record holder Christian Coleman back in a USA vest to Adam Thomas national indoor champion Scottish record holder what a stage for him to be performing on can he harness the smiles and deliver Marvin Bracey got a silver eight years ago. Could he upset the world champion and the Olympic champion? He swept all before him in Tokyo over 100 metres and in the relay. He will believe he has come here for one medal only, another gold. The stage is set for an epic showdown. The shortest race to glory. Coleman, the defending champion in three. Bracey, the former silver medalist in four. Jacobs, the Olympic champion in five. These are the kind of nights that dreams are made of. One of these men is about to make history in Belgrade. It's the final of the men's 60 meters. Six and a half seconds to justify years of work and sacrifice. Set. They're safely away. Bracey got a good start. Lamont Jacobs trying to get into his running. Christian Coleman's up at the moment. Oh, it's so, so close. It's so, so close. Is it? Is it the Olympic champion from the world champion just? I think, I think Jacobs might have done it. Coleman had the edge with about 15 metres to go. Then came the big high stride of the Italian Olympic champion. Coleman is desperate, desperate to announce his return to international competition with a gold. Neither of them are sure. Bracey ran really well. Coleman was definitely up. But I think, I think the Italian might have just done it on the line. But my goodness me, it's tight. Two men who have tasted global glory. They're watching and they're waiting. Jacobs doesn't know, neither does Coleman. Coleman came under pressure towards the end of the race. They're only watching themselves on the big screen. The drama lasting minutes after the race itself has finished. The time has been rounded down to 
I think it was Jacobs just, but Coleman doesn't want to give up the belief that he could have just become the first man to successfully defend the title in 27 years, but he hasn't. It's Jacobs, cometh the hour, cometh the Olympic champion. His dip on the line brings glory. And this incredible rivalry between the Italian and the American enters a new level. Coleman relinquishes his crown by the narrowest, narrowest of margins. Three thousandths of a second. Bracey takes the bronze with a massive PB. But Marcel Jacobs came here determined to show everybody that even though Coleman wasn't in that 100 metre final last year, it wouldn't have made a difference. He has elevated himself to a different plane and the 100 metre Olympic champion becomes the world indoor champion with the best performance we've seen for years. He was under pressure. Coleman was reaching for it, searching for history. He thought the title was his, but it's gone to the Italian. Jacobs on top once again. What a performance and what a climax to a gripping night in Belgrade. This is why athletics is one of the best sports in the world. Who Who's got the heart? Who's got the belief? Who's got the desire? Who's got the talent? And who's got the composure? And the answer to that question tonight is Lamont Marcel Jacobs. He is the world indoor champion. Christian Coleman, three thousandths away from a dream return to this international stage. He looked tense for me all afternoon he looked fine this morning he looked chilled he looked relaxed but marcel jacobs really put the pressure on him equaling that world lead in the semi-finals and then coming away with a victory today by one thousandth of a second see the italian coaches there as they see that result they're celebrating that the whole italian team will celebrate it Master Eye back over the replay. Christian Coleman getting his trademark lightning start there in lane three. Look at him staying low, driving hard, taking Marvin Bracey with him. The two Americans at the moment, they look in the driving seat. But as Marcel Jacobs rises, as he gets into his stride, he lifts those knees, powering towards the finish line. Ten metres to go, it's still with Coleman. And by the time they get there, the tall torso of Le Mans Marcel Jacobs dipping perfectly for that line to take the gold medal by all of the three thousandths that was judged as. I think with a European indoor record to boot, beating the mark of Dwayne Chambers from 2009, he was asked about that in the press conference and he said, I'm not here for times, I'm here for the title. But Italy and Le Mans Marcel Jacobs leaving with both. And look at how relaxed he was as he ran through the line. He's working, he's clearly working. Camera will pull out the tension in the shoulders of Coleman. Jacobs, face still relaxed, the cheeks moving on that slow motion replay. And there was a little look across from Jacobs to Coleman as if to say, hey, listen, mate, that was no fluke last year. I am the main man and I am the man to beat. I've taken your world indoor crown and guess what? I'm heading to Eugene and I want your world outdoor title as well. What a prologue, what a prologue for the summer to come. Absolutely. Lamont Marcel Jacobs. People question him for finishing his outdoor season early. He said, why would you do that? You win the Olympic Games. Why would you not go lap up those appearance fees, that prize money at the end of the Diamond League circuit? He was asked about that in the press conference, and he said, because I like to be a championship performer, I like championship races. Walked away from likely big bucks and a lot of fun he could have had in September after that Tokyo victory. But today makes that all worth it. Look how much the medal performance means to Marcel Jacobs. And let's just take a couple of seconds to savour what we've missed over the last few years. 
a global championship played out in front of a vociferous, enthusiastic, passionate crowd with dance music pumping all around the stadium. Moments that little guy will be reminded of for years to come. Let's savour what we missed for so long. No longer silence. It's the drama and the joy of the champion and the crowd lucky enough to watch. Lamont Marcel Jacobs, by thousandths of a second, becomes the world indoor champion. Christian Coleman, a fraction away from a successful title defense. Bracey, another PB for the bronze. What a race.